Off we go again. A very beautiful day today. Perfect temperature. Not too warm, not too cold. Kind of just as we want it. And handsome Liam already in his uh, swimsuit. We're going to Breivik and from there out to Dikon and Lövaya. Some swimming, some uh, relaxing. And after that, we just find out, we figure it out, yeah? Yep. So, no solid plans after that. That's all we have for now. But Liam is excited, getting out. Ah, it's nice. The wind is not cold today. It's like perfectly tempered. It's just amazing today, guys. And this is the summer we always wanted to ex experience here. This is the first day we have it and what? We have six days left now. Oh yeah. That's sad. So basically four days left because the two last days we need to be home, pack and stay with mom and have some good food and stuff like that. So yeah, what we can do. We're back here, Liam. Enjoy. I'm capable for this. Ah, you're too big. You sure? And there's table tennis. Swings. No. Jumping, jumping. You remember that one? <laughs> oh yeah, he loves that one, huh? Ay, ay, ay. He really remembers. Ah. Uh, ay, 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 ay. Ah. Uh, too much, Mama. Too much. He's enjoying the. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> you wanna study here? A little. Maybe you will. So last time we found a phone over there at the climbing thingy tangy over there. It was actually an iPhone. Yeah. And we went on Facebook and we found the owner, didn't we? Like a ten or eleven year old girl. Yep. She was very happy getting her phone back. Her mom said she'd be crying all day until they found it. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. He's excited here. Eh? But we're kind of, we're going this way, Liam, because we have things to do. We're going to take a boat ride. A little more life here in Brevik Torg when it is a sunny day and also today is some kind of, what was it Chesa? Some festival of some sort? Summer festival. Summer festival. So they got lucky with the weather today, obviously. Um, we're gonna have a little look over there, see what it's all about. Let's go Chesa. It's over the bridge here. You found it here? Summer mat, it stands there, so this is summer food it's a small food festival very local very small it's kind of nice though when i lived here not here but in Heista, we always came for something called the bacalao festival uh, i don't know if that is up and going anymore but you see yourself some bread some local food some Bacalao right there actually and uh, yeah I guess the Bacalao festival have become the summer festival seems like something like that with different types of uh, short traveled food I would imagine look at this tradition food local jams penalor good yep and local honey from Telemark. And what is this? Kimchi. Hello. Little bit local. All of this is local, I assume. Right? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure the Bacalao Festival is now the summer festival and it is mostly local short traveled food. I could be wrong. Anyhow, looks like people enjoying. I'm thinking this is the boat we're gonna take. It could be this, but pretty sure it's this. And we're just going to Sanaya. We have to take a walk because uh, the morning boat to where we're going is already gone. We're way too late for that. 
so like a 20 minute walk and we will be there anyway that's fine here is the way coming in Small, small boats taking us out. It ended up being the little car ferry. Tiniest car ferry in the world, Jessa. Yeah. Cute. Hey, handsome. Oh, yeah. You want some milk? So, we're on our way to Sanaya and we just have a small walk there and we are where we're supposed to be. Only 500 meters left, and Liam running. It's a rock. Jessa walking turtle speed. A lot of strawberry. Yeah. So we're gonna eat them. You know the purple there? You can eat those. Mm. This flower. Yeah. How could you eat that? Here. <laughs> Oi. Good. Oi. You can eat those. Seriously? Mm -hmm. You're not joking. Nope. <laughs> no, it's eatable. Dying here. This yellow. It's very salad for it's very popular for salad. This one eatable? Yeah. Just put it in your mouth and eat it. Just a purple one part. It's like a little bit sweet. Mm. Using salads. Yeah, she didn't like but it's eatable. Probably tastes a little better with some dressing on a finished salad, right? Combined with something else, but yeah, eatable. When I think about it, I should probably not eat it because I'm highly allergic. So that's... But you know, these are eatable. And also, rabbits, hamsters, mushroom, love them. Eatable lectures? Yep. Unique? No, it's not unique. It's just... You know the leaves and uh, flowers and stuff in Philippines you can eat, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just showing you that there is like that in Norway too. And obviously since I live in Norway, I know what we can eat in Norway. Like, yeah, I do think, yeah, I do think that kind of knowledge is uh, dying away, you know? Yeah. Newer generations don't really get to know all of this, but I do, because we learned things like this before, but then again, you learn things nowadays that we knew nothing about, like how dangerous it actually is to smoke, for example, never knew, you knew it was not good for you, never knew it was this dangerous, and still, so sad, we see so many young people in Norway smoke, huh? Oh yeah. I really thought it was a thing of the past. I didn't think any new people would start smoking. And there we are. Young people smoking in Norway. I thought it was a thing of the past and uh, just something that happened in countries that doesn't have the what's the name, the knowledge yet, like uh, in Philippines, African countries, stuff like that. Boy was I wrong. Norwegian kids smokes like never before. Maybe not as many. But still a lot. At least what we have seen. I don't know the statistics, but that's what we have seen. And that makes me sad. What is this? So, oh, yeah. Here is gonna be some berries coming up at some point. Don't know what. This is the kind of forest that has berries in it. Gonna come. Berries? Yeah. Like blueberries and stuff like that. This is that type of uh, forest that has it. You just need to find a place where they grow. But it's too early now. But they're in here somewhere, I guarantee it. As I just said, berries are here. This is blueberries, guys. There are many here. Mm. Mm. Here they are. Hmm. Yeah. It's season already, I guess. No, not really. You see, they are, they are coming, right? Mm -hmm. But some are already here. Little bit sour still, but uh, yeah. Blueberries is smaller than the other. I think it's blueberry and boysenberries in English, but uh, blueberries is a small one and boysenberries, as I think it's named, not sure it's the bigger ones. But this is obviously blueberries. 
No. Am I right or am I right? This mm. is the forest who has like this and we found it two seconds after, huh? Give me the camera. Oh, yeah. Full sale. Oi! Hold Papa up. Not only that it's for sale, but you don't really throw away garbage in Norway. Let's go, little man. We are soon there. Huh? You're eating blueberries? So a lot of blueberries and strawberries, wild strawberries, very, very small ones, but delicious. So that's, that's in summertime in Norway. We have a lot of berries, a lot of fruit, apple, pear, plum, uh, and blueberry, and hollandberry, strawberry, ribs. Don't know the English word for it, guys. But there's many, many more. Moral, which is like a sweeter, smaller version of uh, cherry. Hey, babe, where did Mama go? Welcome to Dikun. Here we are, parking for the cars and camping. It's beautiful, relaxing. And I think up there is the is that the kiosk? I don't remember. It's so long time since I've been here. There's definitely a kiosk here somewhere. And we're gonna stop there first. Have an ice cream. Feed Liam a little bit something something. And then we go swimming and maybe fishing. If we can. Yep. Gonna enjoy the day. Go to Löveja, the neighbor island. There's supposed to be a bridge. It was not there before, but it is now, they say. So, let's have a look. There's the toilets. Where will you go, Mama? I don't know, Mama. Down here, I guess. There's high. toilets up there. Oh, Camping here. Fishing there. There's a fishing spot, I guess. It's really relaxing and beautiful. This is proper place to be in Norwegian summer. Yeah, Norwegian summer, yes. They're going to do something. Oh yeah, something. we love camping and we love boating in Norway. And if not, we go to a cabin. So, oh. over there, is that the kiosk? What is it? Yeah, I guess. Looks like it is. We go over there and buy something and after that, we explore. Yep. I think we're gonna swim from Løvejar, Jessa. Yep. But fine. 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 One hundred ten with cola? Huh? Yeah, one hundred ten for food with cola. Blueberry ice cream. This is blueberry ice cream. Solbar actually, not blueberry. Mm -hmm. I was a mistake. But my god, it was good. You know the shirt? No, no. We got Liam. Eh? So we're just gonna give him that and then we're gonna have some fries. Opposite, uh, opposite order, I guess. And uh, we go to Löveja, do some swimming. We swim, swim, swim. Swimming and have a small picnic. What sure. we have? Huh? We have chicken, mm -hmm. rice, mm -hmm. pizza. Mm -hmm. Happy. Mm. So warm. Mm. Enjoyable. Mm. First. Ah, enjoyable. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Norwegian summer can be great, but you just have to take it as the days go by because uh, it's warm. It changes fast, the weather here. It's warm. It really changes fast. Look there, already. But it's still warm and nice today, so we're good. This way, good. <laughs> there, cloudy. It's warm, what are you doing? It's blue sky just above us. Oh. You don't have tissue? Okay. Ice cream and at the same time, huh? That's yep. nice. Mm. <laughs> That's how you supposed to... Oh, stealing mama's too. Don't okay. want. No sharing. Okay. <laughs> and we don't have any tissue though, so that's nice.
You have you ask in there. Yeah. I will. Thank you. Camping area here. People doing camping. Mm -hmm. So many camping. Hmm? Liam really enjoying himself there. Huh? Oh yeah. Especially when you put camera and he can see himself. Look at. So live here. And we just followed the truck here. But look at this guys. It's Jessa. Hi. Ah, running, running. It's beautiful here, huh? Oh yeah, there we go. Oi, oi, oi. Hi. You're good. Okay. You're good, little man. It's good. Oh, oh, oh. You're not oh. gonna swim. Hey, handsome. Yeah. You're gonna go swim. But uh, let's just have a little look first, huh? Oh, yeah. Sliding on this uh, tushi, yeah. Daddy let go for two seconds and we're running right away. Seeing the beach. Out oh, down there, we swim. You gotta be like this. <laughs> we're gonna go to Leve, yeah. It said sign over here, so I guess we just see over there if it continues to go around there. I, I have no idea. We will find out. If not, we'll just stay here, right? Yeah. If it's too far. Pretty sure this is the correct road to the bridge. I hope. Who knows? We will find out on Jessa behind Kosiki is finding berries. At least. Cheap feeding her. She just eats as we go. It's very nice. Yep. We have to surrender Lovea for today, guys. It was further to walk than we expected. And also we walked the wrong way because we couldn't see the signs anymore and we chose the wrong way. At least better choosing wrong way here than in Manila driving, right? Not a big danger, Liam is gonna go swim, I just wanted to show Jessa Lovea, but we will do it from the boat, I guess, and uh, take the boats to Langsun, where Jessa, you're gonna ask if it's too late or if they still wanna pick us up. Yep. And if they won't, good. If not, we stay in Langsun, have a nice dinner and go home. Oh yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. If they pick us up, we have a, probably a barbecue with them at their cabin in Valle. And maybe some fishing in Valle. Oh, yeah. And then go home a little bit later, I guess. Yep. So, that's what we do instead. And at least just I get to see, we're supposed to have a small picnic with some chicken, rice, and some stuff in uh, Lovea. But sometimes, you know, not possible. As I say, I haven't. When I lived there, it wasn't even a bridge. It's something I heard about now. Just me and Jessa, we absolutely cannot find it. And we don't have time for exploring because the boat comes in one and a half hour and it is the last boat. So now we go swimming with Liam or mama goes swimming with Liam, daddy filming and we're relaxing for a while and take the boats to Langsun. That is the plan. My boy is ready for swimming now, finally. And it become this little beach instead of where we originally wanted but that's fine can't win them all guys here we have the boy goes swimming already no time to wait it is that's nice i'm not really a big fan of swimming in norway summer it's too cold for me i swim in philippines only but yes i enjoy swimming here liam enjoys swimming here they can enjoy I'm good. Oh, handsome, you're smiling. Happy? Fantastic. Jessa, give me your dress. Happy boy. Oh, yay. Look at that smile. So happy. Oh, so happy. Ay, ay, ay. It's amazing. <laughs> if you see straight out there, that's the boat picking us up today. And it's going around that little mountain out there. Coming in here. 
And behind all here, Mr. Wick. Oh, tired, huh, handsome? Oi, come on, let's go. Let's go to the boats. That's good timing, Jessa. So, what's gonna happen is uh, we're going to Brevik actually, because that's where we're being picked up. Are we being picked up? Because they never told us. When we arrive there, we will call them. He will, he will call them? Okay. So, we're going to a cabin in Valle. I guess uh, we do a little bit fishing and maybe have some dinner with Jessa's uh, followers. And uh, both of their husbands are really nice people, so I got to know them a little bit. Nice. Anyway, as we said, we keep the day loosely planned because things like this always happens, right? Oh, yeah. So that's nice. Look at this. That's the island over there. That's the island we wanted to go to, you see. With a little, where the boats are a little bit outside on the odd there and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, we can't win them all, as I said. We enjoyed the day here. As you see, we were the last one to leave, I think, pretty much. There was a couple of young girls left only. They are still left already. Now, we go to the ferry. And the ferry comes here, over there, and then I think it goes out there again. I think this is Oxe on the other side there. And it goes to that one and we go straight to Brevik. So a short ride with the boat. This time I think we have to pay because uh, go to Sanaya is free. Go to swimming places and stuff like this. I think still costs money. There are a few people waiting for the boat. And so will we. It will be here in two minutes now. Bye bye to Dickon. Bye Liam. Ah, you're tired. God. Oh, That's that. it. It's beautiful, relaxing. Oh. And if you go from Sanaya and just do the walk, it's free too. You just lazy to walk back, yeah? And over there, that's as close as we're gonna get to Lugaya. And behind there is the great green field that I'm talking about that we not get to see this time. But there's a summer next year too, little man. And then we know a little bit more because it's 11 years since that they've been here. Things change, yeah? Things change. At least we got Dicko. Very happy with that. All the way down there is where we was walking. My God, I have to go all the way back over there. What we can do. So we're just going to pick up the people there now. And go back. Ah, uh, there, yeah. It's just by that place there, that beautiful uh, part of where I is. Fortunately, we are a little bit, we like the curtain cross. So sad. So, okay. I did not think we were gonna see this place, but here you are. Get to see it. Yeah. Yep. Look at that big green field for Liam to run around, huh? It's exactly as it was before. We always come here playing uh, football, badminton, enjoying, and swimming out to this place, fishing, enjoying. Because I always had these small balls and we just uh, put it on the side, like they do here. And uh, you know, you hit you hit some metal down in the in the in the mountain, and put an anchor behind, and then you just anchor up your boat for the day. And there's a small beach on the other side there too. And over there is Crocker Holman. I was there many, many years. It's like a kids' holiday resort. For, uh, yeah, it's really nice. So this is nice, untouched. Really many people. And the people here, they're just enjoying in the boat. So you have the whole green area for yourself. We got to see it, barely, but a little bit anyway. That's nice. And as you can see, the fjord is beautiful here, Jessa, huh? Yep. It's really beautiful. So, yeah, look at this, guys. 
Oh yeah, this is uh, something I really been missing. This is peaceful, enjoy, enjoying. It's just relaxing, peaceful for soul and mind. And look at all the cabins around here. Huh? It's like a little piece of paradise on earth. Having a cabin here. And as I said, they just use this small type of jeepney type of boats to go to the cabins with what they need and they go pretty fast too. Yeah. Look at this guys. And our fjord is full of these kind of idyllic places like this. And that what I thought I wasn't going to be able to show you today because I thought the boat was going just out again. But we got lucky today, I guess. I mean, nothing much can beat this, guys. Do you think this is uh, nice? Yeah. Look here. Uh, my god, this is so great, guys. So, on that note, next year, new chance. We will uh, get to see the whole fjord. Already here in Breivik. Now we go to Jesus followers. And uh, it's in Valle. I think we're getting picked up here, but Jessa will call and figure it out, I guess. Yep. yep. We don't stay there when it's watering. That's good. Free water. Lucky you. We have arrived at the cabin in What's the name here again, Jessa? Valle? Valle. Valle and Jessa von Burris again, obviously. Can I taste apple? Do you can't eat them. You're gonna get super sick. Is that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so here is the cabin. Here is the land. And their boat. So it's a nice, peaceful place to rest. Ask what that is, Jessa. What is this? This one. What is this? Solbar, I think. I think it's solbar. I don't know the English word of it. Nein. What is this? Solbar? Rips. Rips. They are a little bit too dark because rips are supposed to be red. Solbar? Solbar. I don't know the English word for solbar at all. Blackberries? Blackberries? Okay, that's blackberries, guys. They have it all. It's nice. So now we're gonna rest and relax and enjoy. Rips. Right, Jessa? Yeah. Yeah, that's rips. Is it eatable? Yeah, it's eatable. Not poisonous. <laughs> Not like I'm trying to poison you, baby. <laughs> Sour? Yeah, here. That's how they're supposed to look. And the dark red there. Like here, you can eat. This? Yeah, that's perfect. Very sour, though. <laughs> you're trying to swing. Oh, you want to swing? Cool. One, two, three, go! Yay! So nice. Liam trying to play. Yay! Yay! It's great. And here Jessa goes with her friend. Going to fish. And they're gonna get obviously zero fish. But I don't even think they're gonna get to the plate for fishing, to be honest. <laughs> and Mama go fishing. Ah, uh, oh, Mama go fishing. Ah, uh, hey, handsome. Liam a little bit upset. Very upset, actually. Babe, how did the fishing went? Good. <laughs> <laughs> so, where did you go fishing? No fish. No, no fish? fish gone. gone? Oh, so no fish there? No, no fish. No, no fish. Okay. I'm saving my life because of that fish. No, no, no. So, the real story is, Jessa, she kind of didn't get the kayak to go where she needed, so surrendered without even fishing. Oh yeah, you're picking ribs. I don't know English word for it, but ribs in Norwegian. Liam picking. 
Uh, yummy, yummy. Mm. Not really good, very sour. That's all we had for you for this trip, guys. Um, this recording obviously a little bit later. We are actually going home tomorrow. And on that note, there are a couple of more videos before the end of the trip here in Norway. So, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.